20 beautiful places to visit in Europe. Welcome to Taltanic. I'm your host from Wacky Universe. Now, let's get on to the video. The great thing about this continent is that you can travel to a completely different world by train and experience a whole new culture and language. Let's touch upon some of the most beautiful things to see in the continent of Europe that was once considered the center of the world. 20. Lavender Fields, France A trip to the southern region of France known as Provence might just be the thing you need if you want some relaxation, culture, and beautiful views. In this area, you'll find places like Monaco, Marseille, Cannes, Nice, and many more resorts along the Mediterranean Sea. And one of those many views includes a visit to the lavender fields. Travel experts say you'll get the best views during the summer when the flowers all bloom. But it will be really crowded, just a warning. Visitors will take in the flowery paradise at the Abbey Notre Dame de Senanc, located near the village of Gold. 19. Hallstatt, Austria in the state of Upper Austria, we now come to Hallstatt, a town that dates all the way back to the prehistoric times. Made famous for its high production of salt, touring the salt mines surprisingly brings in a lot of tourists. Hallstatt has more to offer besides an extra seasoning to your meal, however. Along the green mountains and water sit colorful pastel houses. Here, you'll experience that quintessential small village feel of Germanic Europe. Especially if you visit the quaint, clean, and colorful market square that gets lots of traffic during both the winter and summer. 18. Sagrada Familia One of the most famous landmarks in Barcelona are those porous spires reaching up into the sky, a place known as the Sagrada Familia Basilica, which also has a Catalan name that sounds a little more difficult to pronounce. And if you know how to pronounce it, let us know. Construction started about 136 years ago during the late 1800s but it is still not finished. Crazy, right? When asked why it was taking so long to build, the designer, a Catalan architect named Antoni Gaudi, said that his client was not in a hurry. And he said that sometime during the early 1900s. The interior proves to be as interesting as the exterior, and a glance up into the ceiling proves to be a surreal sight. 17. Hallerbos Forest, Belgium Feel like you've stepped into a fairy landscape by visiting the Hallerbos in Belgium, a 1,360-acre patch of woods with a uniquely indigo forest floor. Also known as the Blue Forest, and perhaps more popularly referred to as such, many visitors flock here during the spring to experience the scene of the blooming bluebell carpet. What's more, fog often overtakes the space, seeping between the trees, which makes for a prime photography location. 16. Sultan Ahmed Mosque, Turkey Built in the late classical Ottoman style, the Sultan Ahmed Mosque was complete in the year 1616, and to this day still stands as part of the Istanbul skyline in Turkey. It can hold up to 10,000 individuals. More commonly referred to as the Blue Mosque, another blue place, it was constructed during the reign of Ahmed I, following the peace of Zisvatarok. In 2006, Pope Benedict XVI even visited the Blue Mosque, the second ever papal visit to a place of Muslim worship. And if you do ever get to visit, make sure to pay attention to the interior floor, which features over 20,000 handmade ceramic tiles covered in different tulip designs. 15. Lake Bled, Sylvania What's so great about this one lake? Well, there has to be a reason that Lake Bled ranks as one of the most popular resorts in all of Sylvania. Actually, a couple reasons. If you need a place to go for your honeymoon and you and your honey are more outdoors kind of people, then you'll probably want to book a room at one of the hotels at Bloods Resorts so that you have somewhere to stay after you do some hiking, canyoning, biking, or the many water sports that get played out on the lake. And if you need some downtime from physical activity, there's even a medieval castle nearby at the side of the cliff. How European is that? 14. The Giverny Pond, France This image may look really familiar to you. For those of us not art experts, just think of Monet. The water lily pond you see before you is the same that Claude Monet depicted in his 1899 painting, The Water Lily Pond. Located in the French commune Giverny in the country's northern region, lots of Monet fans visit the pond, as well as the nearby house Monet once rented during the late 1800s up until the 1920s. And it wasn't just Monet. Lots of artists came to work in Giverny for its abundant share of landscapes to inspire them. 
13. The Cliffs of Moher, Ireland There's lots to see in Ireland, of course. And if you've already visited all the major historical landmarks in the capital city and the Guinness Brewery, you might want to check out the Cliffs of Moher, located at the southwestern coast of the Burren region. The cliffs appear both a scenic and daunting sight. As you watch the waves hit the rocky bottom, you'll also be able to feel all that cool atmospheric stuff that comes with seaside nature. The call of birds, the sound of the ocean, the breeze, and all that image of the greenery. 12. Rakotsbruck, Germany Perhaps all that consumption of European-based fairy tales can be blamed for how all these neat-looking places look like they came from a fantasy book. And that description is no less apparent when it comes to the Rakotsbruck, or the Devil's Bridge, located in the municipality of Gablenz in Germany. It can be found just 6 kilometers away from the Polish border. So if you're planning a Germanic-Polish trip, you might as well visit the Azalea and Rhododendron Park Kromlau. 11. Charles Bridge, Czech Republic Not that more places in the Czech Republic don't exist, but let's be honest, if you're traveling from a place like the United States to the Czech Republic, you're probably going to Prague. And if you go to Prague, you're probably gonna cross the Charles Bridge at one point. This historic bridge connects the road from the Prague Castle to Old Town across the Vltava River. 10. Fountains Abbey, England One of the most widely spoken languages from wherever you are includes English, so it makes for an easy trip for lots of people. For another, Britain conquered so many places in the past centuries that they've left their cultural influence on society. So it makes sense to travel to England for a vacation. Kind of. Anyways, in addition to Tower Bridge, Big Ben, and the Dover Cliffs, you can visit Fountains Abbey, located in the North Yorkshire countryside. The old monastery may no longer be in use, but what's left of the structure remains ethereal and full of history. 9. Ia Greece When you think of Greece, many commonly imagine the shores of Santorini, a Cyclades island in the Aegean Sea. A popular portion of the island of Santorini includes the small community called Ia. Even though the population only reaches about 1,545 people, hundreds of more people visit the small village every year. Centuries ago, it also served as a highly frequented place to travel as it was a port city. 8. Hermitage Museum, Russia From the outside, you wouldn't think this huge palatial space serves as a museum nowadays. The Hermitage Museum can arguably be classified as the most popular tourist attraction in all of St. Petersburg. Founded during the reign of Empress Catherine the Great in 1764, the museum came as an extension to the Winter Palace that would be completed in 1766. Six buildings make up the entire museum complex. Every year, over 4 million people visit the museum, which opened to the public in 1852. 7. Lapland, Finland Okay, for those of you not sold on exploring the outdoors, think about how rare it is to experience the northern lights. There's only a few places in the world that you can see these colorful, all-natural lights in the sky, and one of them includes Lapland, Finland. The Lapland region measures to 100,367 kilometers squared. When covered in snow, and the moon's out, and the lights make themselves visible in the sky, a trip to Lapland looks like a scene from a Christmas movie. Would you traverse the cold for a chance to experience those lights? 6. Neuschwanstein Castle, Germany On a forested hill in the region of southwest Bavaria sits Neuschwanstein Castle, up at an elevation of 2,260 feet or 800 meters high. Ludwig II of Bavaria commissioned the construction of the castle in 1832 to be a retreat as well as to be dedicated to Richard Wagner, the famed German composer. Every year, 1.3 million people tour the castle, with a traffic of 6,000 individuals per day. Many get drawn to the architectural design of the castle, a mix of castle romanticism, called Bergen Romantic, and other styles. 5. Tunnel of Love, Ukraine Nope, that's not from some children's fantasy movie. That's a real industrial railway that exists in the Ukraine. Located near the territory of Klevan, this section of railway got famous for the green-leaved arches that surround the entire path. It's called the Tunnel of Love for the many couples that frequent the path together. Which does make it really difficult for train operators to watch out for. 4. Quita da Galera Initiation Well, Portugal 
Traveling to Sintra, Portugal means you're going to see lots of 19th century architecture constructed in the Romantic style. As a result, the entire municipality had been made a UNESCO World Heritage Site. But perhaps one of the most beautiful and mysterious places in Sintra includes the initiation well of Quinta da Galera. Through a series of tunnels and caves, you can reach the well, which has a spiral formation to get to the bottom. People did not use the well for water. Rather, it served as a location for ceremonial tarot initiation rites. 3. Bavarian Alps, Germany Let's be real. The Alps in any country would be awesome to visit anyway. We picked the Bavarian Alps just because it looks a little more green. This region of the Northern Limestone Alps ranges from between the Salak and Lech rivers. Not to fret, just because it looks green in these pictures doesn't mean snow doesn't still cover other parts of the Bavarian Alps. People love to ski here, as well as take in the health retreats, visit the villages, and relax at the spas during the non-ski season too. 2. Oxford University, England Located in the southeast English city of Oxford, you'll find one of the most well-known universities not only in the world, but in history. Oxford University not only provides quality and expensive education, but it also has a lot of really neat architectural structures. From St. Mary's Church to the Radcliffe Camera to the All Souls College, there's no shortage of pictures to take on an afternoon walk through campus. All right, all right. If you prefer Cambridge, we can't blame you. But for simplicity's sake, we had to pick one. And we picked Oxford. If you want to argue Cambridge's case, you're more than welcome to in the comments. 1. Venice, Italy Yep, we're talking the entire city of Venice. The capital of the Veneto region in northern Italy has one of the most unique cityscapes in all of Europe. How many cities in the continent can be traveled through by waterways and lack of sidewalks? Not many. Venice, or Venezia, has been called the city of canals, or even the floating city. No one knows the exact founding of Venice, but we're glad it still exists in the 21st century. The city, situated on the Adriatic Sea, features the famous Bridge of Sighs, but also has a lot of things you cannot see near the canals and gondolas, such as the famous St. Mark's Campanile in Piazza San Marco. It's one of the most unique cities in the world, and if you're not afraid of the water, you know where your next vacation is gonna be. Thank you for watching, and you can check out my channel, Wacky Universe, by clicking this link right over here.